What's up guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, before we do anything, I just want to say I'm so sorry about not uploading for, uh, what was it, five months now? Uh, I have reasons. School's been driving me mad. I've had to go through a new laptop, new phone, so I've been having to acclimatize to that. And I went a solid two months with absolutely no Wi-Fi, so I couldn't upload anything. But uh, I want to come back with a video which I've been hoping to make for a while. You see, a vid the video I originally uploaded last year about my death battle season surprisingly underperformed. And I've always felt bad about it because it was a video which I was really passionate about. But <clears throat> now I kind of want to celebrate it. its year, -er, you know? Because it's been a whole year since it's uploaded. And I hope. This video gets uploaded the same day as the last one, but a year ago. We've got Seasons 10 coming up, and I want to sort of fix this video with some new matchups, some old ones from last time, some ones I actually give a shit about. <laughs> and also, hopefully, present it to you in a little better quality. Uh, I, I also decide this year, instead of 25, only to go with 16. The same amount as the last two seasons. Mainly because I feel like when I had 25, I sort of had to start reaching for certain matchups. And when I men ended up making this video, I realized there's only a very slim few videos which remain the same. Uh, one that I wanted on this list and I thought was going to be there was actually going to be Bill Cipher versus Discord. But then it just so happened to get made into a fight, and I am planning on talking about that soon, when the trailer for Season 10 comes out, because they're gonna make a trailer soon. Uh, in fact, it's probably gonna be in the next cast. Uh, in fact, if any of the 16 videos on the this get revealed, I'll probably make a poll. Wait, not a poll, a post. Fucking idiot. Anyway, uh, enough talking, let's just get into it. Right. So, starting things off. Alright. Let's talk about the greatest character in all of anime. Genthru, aka The Bomber. This man is the greatest villain, the greatest character, the greatest anything. He is Genthru, The Bomber. <laughs> and so, it, it only makes sense to pit him up against an equally Chad blonde with explosions. Yoshikage Kyura. Originally, I was going to go with Roy Mustang because they have slightly more themes, but I couldn't find anything for the, them. Speaking of which, uh, any trailer things you see in this fight, wait, in this video, if they're not from one of the official Death Battle websites or wikis, I will have who made them cited in the corner. <clears throat> uh, if you don't like the fact that, the video, that it's in the video, uh, message me, I'll edit it out, it's fine. Uh, but most of them are a few years old at this point, so I don't think many people will care. Anyway, like I said, this is a somewhat thematic matchup, and I think it would be quite funny. And actually, it would work, because, fun fact, Genther's dub voice actor has been on Death Battle before. I recently learned that, and it made me feel amazing, because Genther is the greatest character in anything. I mean, he's the bomber. What are you? What else do I need to say? Uh, he's probably the most, uh, low-down character that I'm talking about in this video, the most, like, underground, since I feel like Hunter x Hunter is something which not everyone's watched, it's a bit of an old show, and, uh, <clears throat> Genther is not exactly the most popular character, but come on, he's my boy, he's the greatest character of all time, so obviously he should be here. Uh, now number 15, which is first one from the last video, Piccolo vs. Martian Manhunter. Uh, similar as last time, I think this could be a really interesting fight. I think it has a lot you can go off. I think it's especially interesting because Piccolo just got a new form in the most recent thing for Dragon Ball with uh, Orange Piccolo. I actually watched that film. It was really good. Uh... Martian Manhunter is also a really entertaining character. He has a lot of abilities, and I think that can play quite well off Piccolo's intellect. Wait, intellect? <clears throat> like, 
and it's somewhat fair considering both are like multi-universal in strength. Overall, I think it'd be a really fun fight. I think there's a lot you can do with it, so it's still here, you know? Just keep it. Now, Denji versus Itadori. This fight, whoo It's one which I didn't know about until uh, after her, the last video, but now I want, like, hell, because I've watched a little bit of Jujutsu Kaisen, and it is quite good, but the thing that I really like from it is Denji. Because Chainsaw Man was probably one of my favorite animes released in 2020. Well, if it's down to release, then it's my favorite. But out of the ones I read, I don't know, it's kind of up there with One Piece. <clears throat> and it's definitely the best Jujutsu Kaisen vs. Chainsaw Man fight. There's another one which I'll talk about later, but... I actually hate that specific matchup, and I'm planning on making a video about it. All you need to know, though, come on, wait. Ugh. This is a great fight. It's somewhat fair, I guess. The themes are there. Uh, both are main characters in New Gen shows. Both have wait. Both are her fused with a monster of their universe, curses and devils. Both somewhat lose their humanity in doing this. Both join an organization to kill these creatures, despite having them inside of them, and have the risk of death put towards their heads. And both are somewhat parodies of classic shonen protagonists. <clears throat> I think overall, it could also be a very gory matchup. Like, and whenever Death Battle does gory, I prefer her of them. Like, we all know Dio vs. Alucard, favorite fight of all time. And that one has a sea of blood. <laughs> and you can actually do something kind of similar with the Denji, considering he runs off blood. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Denji does win. And if that happens, I would just want to see Itadori get torn to shreds, you know? Just give us the gory death we've been hoping for. Some people might not like it because, oh, they're killing Itadori in a brutal way. There's a lot of Black Adam fans out there and uh. He got turned into Elmo, so. Ugh. I I think it'd be fun. I think it has quite a bit of potential. I think these two characters would bounce off each other really well. And overall, I just really like the matchup. Uh, now on to number 13. So, uh, in my last list, I had Deku versus Gon on it. But that was mainly because I didn't have anything else to go with, and I... I didn't really care about the fight. I hate Deku, and I really and I hadn't watched Hunter Hunter yet, so I kind of just put it there because eh, why not? But then Deku versus Asta came out, which I personally think was the best possible route they could have went. And with that out the way, I think Yuno versus Bakugo could actually be a really entertaining fight. Uh, <laughs> the main reason why I'd love it is because Baku, I I would just want to see Bakugo trying to get a rise out of Yuno. And then him just constantly either ignoring him or just calling him an idiot. I feel like it'd be hilarious just to see how insane Bakugo goes over the fact that Yuno is just ignoring him. Plus, it could be a really fast-paced fight with Bakugo's explosions and Yuno's wind power. I Bakugo is like the one character from My Hero Academia I actually like. And Yuno is a really well-written rival in Black Clover. I think it's a really nice fight. It's one that should be done. I think it kind of deserves it. And since we just got Black Clover versus his My Hero Academia, I think it does stand a chance of coming back again. I think that could happen. Right, number 12. For this one, I do need to explain to some people, Percy Jackson is my favorite book series of all time. And I would love to see Percy on the show. I've seen a lot of people say Percy versus Harry Potter, but considering how badly the last per wait the last time Harry Potter was showed up on Death Battle was, I would half expect them to try and create a Horcrux. Ugh. Anyway, this I think this fight could be really entertaining because Percy is just a good character, you know. He's he's likable. He's well written. 
and his abilities surprisingly mean he could win over a DC Herald. A lot of people want to see more DC Heralds lose. We recently finally ended the streak with a uh, Harley Quinn vs. Jinx. And we could continue ending the streak here with, per with Percy and Alpha Lad. In fact, if this fight got revealed, I would 100% make a video about why Percy wins. Because it would give me an excuse to talk about Percy Jackson. <laughs> for one. And for two, I think it is a really interesting matchup. I think there's a lot you can do with it. I think both have a lot of water-based shenaniganry they can use. Uh, in fact, maybe Aquaman... Wait, maybe Aqualad still live, wins... I'm not 100% sure about what he's done in the comics. Uh, he's probably faster, but Percy has one specific strength feat. Plus, he kind of counters most of Aqualad's weaponry. <clears throat> it's a really entertaining fight, and honestly, this is the one which I kind of want the most. Just because it talks about a character I love that doesn't get much recognition. Though, uh, I wouldn't be happy about them using the clips from the film. Preferably, I'd probably wait till the new show comes out on Disney+, Plus so that they have some new clips from there that aren't shit. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just go on to number 11. Oh, here we are. Spy vs. Agent 47. This is another one from the, uh, previous list, so it was Percy vs. Aqualad. But, I talked about that one in great depth in the last time, and when it showed up on the Champions poll, I knew it wasn't going to win because, I mean, Cole McGrath versus Alex Mercer is one of those fights which has a community around it, whilst this one is just one which a lot of people kind of want. But the fact that I love the fight this much, and I could only really put it at number 11, shows how much I love this new season. And how much I would love the f them making it. Like, I, I've i managed to win, finally, because Season 10 is going to have one of the fights from my previous year that would have been on this one. And if Spy vs. Agent 47 had won and gone on to that as well, I would have absolutely popped off. But surprisingly, this is a fight which has a lot you can do. Even though they're really weak characters, they have a lot of weaponry. And the way I like to think of it is it has the possibility to be solid snake wait to be a solid snake versus versus whatever is wait solid snake versus Sam Fisher part two. <clears throat> but in fact they even have more than that that fight, so it has more possibilities. <laughs> uh I would love to see, like, Agent 47 holding the advantage for a lot of the time using his greater weaponry, but then Spy constantly gets big hits in thanks to his trickery, and then they could end the fight with maybe he 47 killing Spy, just for him to fake it with the Dead Ringer, and get the backstab to land the win. Because that would just be sick, and I think they could really play that out well. Ugh! <sighs> Overall, I this is the fight which makes me say, I really hope just because a fight lost the champion's pole doesn't mean it won't get made into a fight in the future. I hope that just because they lost, that only means they're not getting made this season. Like a lot of I know a lot of people really still want Kratos vs. Azura. I always kind of like Kratos vs. Dante a little more, purely because one of my friends is a big, big Devil May Cry fan. But this is the fight which I care about the most that lost the champions poll. If I could have voted, it would this fight would have been getting my vote. And overall, I hope it does get made eventually. Right, let's go on to the top ten though. Starting off. Oh boy. Luffy versus Naruto is kind of the fight Luffy's been left with. Like, after recent arcs of One Piece. He's kind of got no choice for opponents but Luffy, if he I mean Naruto, if you want a fair fight. Since everyone else, Luffy stomps or gets stomped. Because he gets annihilated by Goku, but Natsu, it's not even fair. 
<clears throat> I wait. I've always thought this, like, this could be a really entertaining fight. And actually, I do think Death Battle want to do it, but they're just waiting until One Piece finishes, because they have kind of set up towards this fight with the ending of Naruto versus Ichigo. And if they did the fight, I would love to see like. Naruto holding the advantage in strength for the first solid bit of the fight, but as Luffy goes up his gears, he slowly evens things out until we get to like Kar wait, Karama versus his gear four, where the two are perfectly evenly matched, just for Naruto to go all out, like level a mountain, and then we get to see gear fifth. I think Luffy wins now, thanks to gear fifth, because it because of the Tomb Force shenaniganry. But if Naruto still won, that would be absolutely fine. I wait. The last year has just been me doing nothing but uh, watching One Piece, though. So I would be super invested in seeing it and just enjoying Luffy at his best. Uh, I know there's also a fight for Brook floating around, and originally, actually, uh, I was gonna put Frankie versus Genos on this list, but I decided to go with something else. Ugh, the but this fight, I think, will be absolutely amazing. I think it's one which could have a lot of passion put into it, and heck, it could be a season finale. It has that much they could go over. Because you're talking about a series with 400 episodes of an anime, and another with over a thousand. <clears throat> right, on to number nine. Number nine. Bowser versus Eggman. The fight which I was convinced would happen last season. I still think it has a really good chance this year, because of uh, uh the Mario film coming out. But uh, this fight, I still love the idea of. I think I actually go a little lower this season, but that's not because I like the fight any less. It's purely because there was some more fights this year they got introduced that I prefer. But come on, it's the last big, big Nintendo versus Sega rivalry. You have the possibility for an army battle, or what I think would be even cooler, having one man, Bowser, take on the entire egg fleet. Because it would just be awesome to see how, how much stronger Bowser is to everything else Eggman has, until eventually he starts getting out, like, the nukes. Like, I know I know you've got some nukes in, that, in them trousers. Look how big they are. I, I think the fight would have pretty much infinite possibilities considering just how many games these guys have been in. And you would have a lot to go over and it really makes sense to do it now with Sonic wait, with live action Sonic still being a huge thing and the Mario film on its way out. In fact, I think out of all the fights this season wait, out of all the fights on this list, this is the one I'm most confident has a chance in season ten. And I wouldn't be surprised if it got revealed in the Season 10 trailer. Though, by the looks of things, they're only going to reveal between 1 and 3 fights for that trailer. But still, I think this fight has an incredibly high chance of being revealed. Though, Denji vs. Itadori also has a somewhat okay chance. Right, on to number 8. And this one is another one from the last video. And it's another one I am seriously hoping they make. Joker vs. Green Goblin is, like, the perfect death battle. I'm seriously surprised to this day they have not- Wait, they've only done one Batman vs. Spider-Man villain fight in, uh, <laughs> Venom vs. Bane. And even then, honestly, Bane should come back, I think. Venom got to come back, and Bane's such a great character. I've seen Bane vs. Luke Cage out there, and I would definitely get behind that purely to see my big boy again. <clears throat> but this fight is one that I could really get behind. I'm personally on Team Joker, but I know Green Goblin probably wins anyway. I've heard a lot of people say they'd rather have Joker versus Klefka or Green Goblin versus literally anyone else. But the rivalry between these characters is just too high. If either comes back, I think they're fight they they'd be fighting each other. Wait, why did I say come back? Green Goblin's not came on before. But, yeah, just give us this fight, Death Battle, please. In fact, it, it doesn't have a 0% chance, 
No Way Home came out two years ago now, Jesus Christ. And then the Batman's still pretty popular, so I think it does stand a chance. And I would personally love it, so come on, Beth Bell, do your thing. Alright, number seven, and I think this is the controversial one. Oh no, it's not, it's just Yami and Kenpachi. Or should I say, McKenna boy! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, judging by that, you can probably tell I like Kenpachi. Kenpachi is one of my favourite characters in all of anime. Like, not even joking, he, like, Gen through. I legit love Kenpachi as a character. And Yami is one of the most entertaining Black Clover characters. So just throwing them at each other, I it works surprisingly more than it should. I, I would love to just see Ken, like Kenny going all out, just trying everything to kill Yami, just because he's so into the fight. Meanwhile, Yami's just trying to avoid it. Or you could, like, start the fight with Yami cutting, with Kenny cutting the building in half, with just Yami on the toilet. I think it could be surprisingly as comedic as it is epic, because both of these characters are primed for comedy. Plus, seeing Kenpachi use his Bankai would be absolutely amazing. Just seeing him in blind berserker mode, trying to fight Yami, would be awesome. I think Kenny wins, but I've heard a lot of people say the opposite towards Yami, because of the whole dimensional slash thing. Either way, it would be an amazing fight. I think the swordplay aspect could really be played up. And I think it'd be really fun to just see Yami try everything he can to avoid Ken Kenny's attacks. Meanwhile, Kenny is just slowly taking more and more damage. And that would just be really entertaining. Alright, on to number six, which I think now is the controversial one. No, it's not. It's goddamn Goofy. Alright. I mean, I think this one is slightly controversial. I don't think many people care about Jolene versus Doflamingo. Personally, like I've already made clear, I have really enjoyed watching One Piece recently. And JoJo's just one of those shows which I love. And come on, this wait, this fight has everything going for it to be done round now. We've just seen the fi finishing of part 6 being animated. Wano's just come to an end in the manga. And in not too long, it'll be done in the anime. <clears throat> I think the stage is set to see Jojo and One Piece clash because they do legitimately have a lot of good matchups. Like, I could have also done uh, Gyro vs. Law, which I've heard a little bit about, Ugh. and the one which I personally quite like, Crocodile vs. Diavolo. But this is obviously the best one. Just seeing the two refuse to die because of their pure determination and willpower. I would absolutely pop off for. And on top of that, both, wait, we could see both use their in intelligence to try and get the upper hand on one another. <clears throat> and if, if you win with Dofi, you have the capabilities for a seriously gruesome death. Like, we could be talking him, him goddamn hanging Do Jolene. Or we could try and see her trying to break out the bird cage, or her Dofi using his awakened for who to try and get the upper hand and trap Stone free. It's a fight where even though both weaponry are only string, they can do so much with the string that it makes it incredibly entertaining. And I wouldn't be surprised if either won. Like, I personally think Dofi would be the one who wins. But, I think Jolene does have very similar strength and speed, plus can probably resist his Conqueror's Hockey thanks to her high willpower. So, overall, it is a really close fight that either could win. Alright, are we doing the controversial fight now? Please. Finally. Okay. Gojo versus Kisuke. Now, anytime you say Gojo on death battle, immediately everyone just goes, Makima. Right? But that just pisses me off, because it is legitimately one of the worst fights you could do for Gojo, for a lot of reasons, and I actually plan on making a video about it. I plan on making it for about a month, but I've kind of just been putting it off because school. 
<sighs> but this fight just works on so many levels. Uh, I would love just seeing these two talk to each other because they both have the same sort of aura of I'm so powerful that I can just joke around and I know there'll be no consequences because no one can beat me. <clears throat> and it's actually a really interesting fight on how Kisuke wins because he has everything he needs to just barely scrape by against Gojo. And it would definitely be another one where I can make a video about it and talk about who's stronger, talk about a lot of things to do with Kisuke and Gojo. Meanwhile, Makima is... Wait, the, talking about Makima as a fight is the equivalent to banging your head against a brick wall covered in nails. So, uh... Yeah, this is just a better fight overall. Plus, Kisuke has so much more personality than Makima. And I'm slipping into why Gojo vs Makima sucks, so we're just gonna keep moving on. Where our uh, next three are all very similar to the last video, because I still love all of them. Starting off, Juggernaut vs 096. I actually remember last year I had I went and tried to uh, quote unquote custom make a death battle screen, because I didn't want a creepy 096 thing. But at this point, fuck it. Fuck them kids. <clears throat> But come on, this fight is great. It's two unstoppable forces colliding. And I have always wanted this fight for one idea and one idea alone. Seeing a battle between two giant angry skeletons, with the difference being Juggernaut is on fire. Because their entire character is just you can't stop them and they will keep trying to kill you. <clears throat> I, I don't know, something about it is just absolute perfection to me, and it is, it's my version of one of those fights where it is kind of meme but at the same time, I would love to see it. Like, it's essentially my Apocalypse versus Black Adam. And Biff Weed got his, so if we can get popular enough, maybe they'll do this one. I, I don't know, I just wanted to... I just want to see two giant skeletons beat the hell out of each other. What more do you want from me? I'm a simple man. Right, number three. And this is one which I have always loved. Deoxys versus Boros. <clears throat> I mean, I don't even know what to say about this one at this point. It's two aliens just who are known for being impossible to kill. Plus, you get so much personality out of one interaction of just Boros trying to have a monologue and Deoxys just zipping into his face and attacking him. Because we have a no-nonsense Pokemon that can't talk versus this guy who doesn't shut the hell up. <clears throat> and the fact that it's surprisingly close and leaning on Deoxys winning is so hilarious to me because it's a One Punch Man character versus a Pokemon character. But I've also recently learned about Pokemon's universal scaling, so, uh... <laughs> that's kinda nutty. I, I think this could be one of the fastest fights you could do in Death Battle. I think it would be amazing to see Deoxys going through his different forms. And I think the analysis could be really interesting in trying to cover these two, considering how little material they have. Because Boros is three episodes of anime, whilst Deoxys is, like, five minutes of content in a game, but both still come on with such perf with such a presence that you can't help but love them. Like, to this day, Boros is considered one of the most popular One Punch Man villains, probably only behind Gara, whilst Deoxys is, like, one of the most highest rated mythical Pokemon. Though he's technically a legendary now because he's available in the game. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. And yes, once again, I can make a video about why they this fight so great and why Deoxys probably wins. Right, on to number two. And I've not shut the hell up about Meliodas vs. Rinnakumara for a long time. It's the first death battle which I truly got invested in, 
because here's a little story. Back in 2018, I think it was, I was just sitting along watching the starts of anime. I just watched One Punch Man. I've been scarred for life by Attack on Titan. And then I'm my Netflix basically bullied me into watching Seven Deadly Sins. I thought it was alright. And then I start getting into Death Battle. Meanwhile, at the same time, my sister is reading Blue Exorcist. And I start realizing, wait a minute. Meliodas and Rinnakumara are like the same guy. Just one's pervy. I went over the themes a lot in the last time I talked about it. But I still think this would be an amazing fight between two swordsmen. Who are also the children of basically Satan. Ugh. I know that Meliodas stomps. I know that people want Asta, but hey, currently we're not going to see Asta until at least season 13 again, so uh, might as well get this one. Plus, Rin doesn't really have anyone else to fight, and I think it's just a better matchup overall, because like, Asta has so little going compared to Rin, and even though it's a stomp, I'm, I'm pretty sure it would be a stomp either way. It's just, it would be a smaller stomp, because Meliodas is seriously powerful. <laughs> now, uh, you'd be expecting, for number one, for me to talk about, uh, Psyche versus Koro Sensei, same as last season, right? Because that was my number one last time. Well, after actually watching Assassination Classroom, I just can't get behind the fight anymore. I, Honestly, I think Koro Sensei is a character who just shouldn't be on Death Battle, to be honest. Because he's not actually as powerful as some people make him out to be. So instead, I went with a fight which I legitimately kicked myself for not involving in the last video. Eren Jaeger versus Ken Kaneki. Sorry that the uh, slide is a bit <laughs> low poly. I don't know why that happened. But... I never got to talk about this fight last time, and I wish I did, because not only does this fight have a lot of themes, it also means a lot to me personally. Because uh, Tokyo Ghoul and Attack on Titan were some of the first animes I watched, I read. Uh, Attack on Titan, like I mentioned a, a few seconds ago, scarred me for life as a kid. But then I started reading the manga, and I really got into it, and it's what got me into reading more manga. And then after reading the manga, I'd seen a lot about Tokyo Ghoul, because I had done some research into Attack on Titan, and YouTube just decided to go, Oh, you like Attack on Titan? Well, here's Tokyo Ghoul, it's similar. And then it just so happened that my school library had all of Tokyo Ghoul, so I read it, and it is the most enjoyable kick in the balls I've ever received. <clears throat> and now both series are over, except the anime, because Attack on Titan refuses to die. And I just hope that eventually they'll make this fight, so I can talk about it in greater detail. I can talk about why I love the fight so much, I can talk about who wins. <clears throat> and I, I just want to celebrate these two, because they are some of the best MCs in all of anime. Eren, not so much in season 4 onward, but Ken Kaneki is just, he has a little spot in the heart, you know? Uh, but that's the video. I think it's going to be a bit shorter than some of the other ones I've uploaded. Hopefully it does well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, <clears throat> I definitely had fun making this video, it was entertaining to make everything. Hopefully, I should have a few more videos uploaded soon. I have one scripted video on the works, and another one I can sort of upload at any time. But I don't want to do them all at once, because that wouldn't be too entertaining. And also, I don't want to give him my mate Quaxi a stroke by just asking him to edit three half an hour long videos. But with all that out the way, see you guys later.